Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm featuring a brilliant UAE-based fragrance house for the first time on YouTube, and you're gonna love it. This house has taken me by a complete surprise, and surprise of the right, right kind, you yeah? This fragrance house creates amazing fragrances. It's called My Perfumes, and My Perfumes are based out of UAE. Surprise, surprise. So many great houses are coming from the Middle East and they're taking everybody by a storm. So, what is this house all about? This house is all about two main types, excuse me, two main types of perfumery. Number one is the Middle Eastern style perfumery involving oud and Middle Eastern type notes like the floral woody notes that we all know of. And the other one is called My Perfume Select. And that one is dedicated to French style perfumery. And I'm going to showcase 12 fragrances in this video. So this will be a long video. So stick around and let's start with the Middle, East, Middle Eastern style fragrances um, sort of um, first. And it's called Arabiat. Yeah. And I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of this video. You can check it out. The links are on how to go and explore their fragrances. There are links on how to... Uh, go and procure them from the country you live in. So there's going to be uh, local links as well. And I, before I start, I really want to thank the team in My Perfumes. They are amazing. You know, first when the marketing manager, um, she, Khadija is her name. Khadija, you are brilliant. When she contacted me, I was, you know, sort of thinking about it. So I asked some information about their brand. She was very open. She made that information available. Then. After that, she took my details and she sent me a huge carton. And uh, I was completely stunned because the fragrances are amazing. So I, I started talking to her and I said, look, I need to understand the notes. And she was like, within a day, she responded with the notes. The professionalism is just outstanding. I was very touched. And needless to say, you know, this is a serious brand. And I really want to give it the sort of limelight this brand deserves. You'll see it at the end of the video after I showcase the fragrances that this brand is something special. I'll start with the first one, which has impressed me a lot. It's in the budget range. It's called Arabiat. And the name of the fragrance is Oud Al-Lail. So Oud Al-Lail is a masculine Oud-based fragrance. Look at the bottle. The moment I put this on my Instagram, I instantly caught the attention of my subscribers there, my friends there. They're very interested in knowing about this fragrance. This fragrance Look at the packaging and this is their budget fragrance. It's amazing, man. This fragrance, okay. So Oud Alaya is a masculine Oud. It smells of patchouli, oak moss. Wow. The moment you smell it, I mean, the moment I smell it, I love it. This fragrance this is the first one I'll do a full review of because this is very impressive. And it's just a solid green, earthy, mossy, woody, masculine it's really seriously good with a heavy floral heart i think it's got rose in it but i'm not very sure i think it's got a rose i smell rose this is stunning fragrance really good and this is the budget fragrance you know so oh the liar is the first one full review coming very soon again in the masculine line as i said this is the arabiat range which is their budget range yeah so Done with Oud the Lion, so I'm going to keep it here. The next one is another impressive one. This one also I put on my Instagram and people instantly like the bottle of the fragrance. The bottle is amazing. Look at the bottle. It's called Intense Oud. This is the bottle. Fantastic fragrance. Love it. And I'm not a massive lover of skank Oud and this, there's no skank here. So this one is Intense Oud is all about, I think it's got Lang Lang Apple Leather but what I get here is cedarwood patchouli with oud and a little bit of artemisia. It's green, woody and unusual sort of woody fragrance and well made, you know, for a budget fragrance, it's really well made. Do let me know which one you would like uh, me to review. Uh, obviously, oud al Lyle, definitely the first one I'll review because this is the most impressive in the budget line. But Intense Wood is another one of those, you know, it's a leathery, green, woody kind of a fragrance, if, if that makes sense. And it is quite intense. Uh, none of these fragrances are more than one or two sprays max. 
like with so many Middle Eastern fragrances, you know, you get your value for money. You don't pay much for these and you get tremendous performance out of these. And obviously they smell amazing. They're um, Middle Eastern style fragrances, or both these two. Oud, Oud is Middle Eastern. But, you know, if you don't like Middle Eastern, I'll still ask you to try because these fragrances, the quality of these fragrances are just amazing. Just to give you an idea, I like Middle Eastern fragrances. I like Rosasi, I like um, Armaf, I like Arabian Oud. So the quality of these fragrances is somewhere between Rosasi and Arabian Oud. That's how good this is. These are. The next one is Intense Musk. Now, Musk is mandatory. It's very important in Islam and this is exactly like that. This is basically uh, Islamic Musk. Yeah, this is for the purposes of going to the, to the mosque for their five Friday prayers. I think it's a religious thing. And this mosque smells exactly like that. It's a fruity, slightly damp, very sort of um, a clean mosque. Yeah, slightly damp. Yeah, this is this is standard, box standard mosque, but it's got brilliant projection. And look at the bottle. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's great for office. If you live in a hot country, I tell you what, if you like musks, you're going to like this. Slightly green apple smell as well, which makes it really fruity. Impressive is the word. And, and the bottle is impressive as well. Next in the list is a fragrance I, I really enjoyed this one. This is called Alfaris. Alfaris is another masculine fruity musk. Uh, sorry, uh, oud. Look at the picture. The horse gives you an idea. This has got tremendous amounts of horsepower. And the notes on this one is a uh, cypress geranium orange blossom lemon and in the base they have musk and vanilla so it's a fruity sort of a yeah cashmere wood sort of a silky woody smell this is not as butch masculine as Ouda Lyle but this is again a fruity silky sort of a uh, fragrance I think that's because of cashmere I suppose uh, Alfaris so this is very fruity and leathery sort of a woody smell. Masculine, yes, but very uh, affable. You know, this is one of those fragrances that makes you sort of, you won't think about wearing this, looking at Alfaris and the logo, and you might think this is a Middle Eastern uh, sort of a oud fragrance. No, no, no. This is a very jovial, fruity, woody, silky sort of a smell. I like this one. This is probably the least formal of the three of the four that I've just showcased here. Yeah? So Alfaris, I'll, I'll do a full review if you want me to, you know, immediately within the next few weeks or later, let me know. But as I said, you know, I'll go with Alal first because that's the best of the lot. Next one is not my favorite because this is a girly fragrance. This is called Lamsat Harir. This is basically a fruity musky fragrance. Um, you can see by the bottle, this is quite, uh, this is for the women, it's quite girly, I think. Um, yeah, very sweet, vanilla, musky, floral. Not my kind of fragrance, but yeah, definitely, if you like very strong, uh, musky vanilla, fruity, musky vanilla, then you should look into this one. This is also very, sort of dry. This is not a cloying sweet, this is not like food, it's not that kind of sweetness, it's more fruity, woody sweetness, yeah? but very strong, enjoyable, yeah, but not my kind of fragrance, but still uh, very decent um, projection performance on all these five are just phenomenal. They're very, very strong fragrances and that's what you get with Middle, Middle Eastern uh, fragrance houses. You get serious projection, serious performance. Longevity is at least eight hours on all of these, yeah. Lamsa is the strongest because when I sprayed it, I went, wow, okay, this is very strong. But all those five that I've showed you have got tremendous performance. Now let's move to their niche line. The niche line is called My Perfumes Select. And look at them, I mean, look at the packaging. What they've sent me is just very impressive. Look, this is their niche line, plus they've got a big one as well, which will be the, which will be the finale of this video. So let's start. I'll start with one which has got, which has impressed me the most. Now this one is called Intense Oris. Here it is. And Intense Oris is basically, let me check the note. Ah, yeah. Bergamot, geranium, iris, dry woods, vetiver, vanilla, moss, patchouli. What I do get here 
It's a very beautiful ginger-like orange smell. That's why I loved it. I told Khadija that I really like orange, intense orange. It's a ginger-like, <coughs> excuse me, freshness or spiciness with iris. Um, it's not lipsticky, but you smell, you're smelling iris, you know. And geranium gives that real effervescent, sort of watery vibe to it. It's very vibrant, fresh and spicy at the same time. Plus, little, you know, sort of silky powderiness to it. This is a really, really nice fragrance. I, I, I love it. So, Intense Oris is another one that you should be very interested in. It doesn't smell like Diorome. It doesn't smell like Chanel number 19. It's very unique. It's got that green facet to it. It's just beautiful. I really enjoyed Intense Oris. Fantastic. Next one on my list is Compassionate Santal. Now you guys know that I'm a sandwood lover. And this one is a fruity sandalwood. Very nicely made. It's got pineapple, I think, if I'm not wrong. No, it's got passion fruit and saffron as a top note. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, compassionate santal has a middle of floor middle, like jasmine, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing voice there, a dry woods and patchouli, and the base is cedar wood, sandalwood, vetiver, white amber. I don't know what white amber smells like, though. What I'm getting is a very nice, lush passion fruit and sandalwood combination with a touch of dry green vetiver. And yes, the fragrance is not dragging you into the dry, um, dark, dry, dry down of Mysore sandalwood. So, this is a generic sandalwood or Indian sandalwood. This is vibrant, this is beautiful, special. So, this is my perfume select category. They are all attuned to the Western noses. These are all French style perfumery. And you know, they're very contemporary. They don't have this feel of classical Middle Eastern or classical French perfumery. Um, like Eau de Lyle is very classical French with that oak moss, heavy oak moss. Here, this is what I would call a contemporary woody, fruity sandalwood, but not playful. Formal, very nice. All the uh, select group fragrances are stunning. I'll come to the most stunning one in the end. But this is Compassionate Sandal, Sandalwood, very unique. I have not smelled anything that uh, resembles this fragrance. <clears throat> Next on my list is not my style, Fleur. So Fleur is girly, I think, uh, it's for women. Chypre Floral, so Bergamot, Iris, Violet, Patchouli, Jasmine, and <clears throat> Cedar wood, white musk, moss, and vanilla. So I get vanilla, moss, I do get jasmine, and fruity, fleshy, fruity kind of a smell. Maybe patchouli with jasmine is creating that. There's, there's a little fruity, lush fruitiness in this with heavy jasmine, heavy floral. Yeah, this is this for women. Um, flair is nice, very strong, very, very strong. I tried flair. One night, I thought, okay, let's see. I couldn't sleep well that night because it's very strong. And I went one or two sprays under my T-shirt and just, it was a bit difficult that night, I'll tell you. So Fleur, very, very strong. Next is Rustic Oud. Now, this one is special. Why? Because it tries to smell. This is the only one that, uh, that does a copy of something. It tries to smell like Aqua di Palma Colonia Oud with more leather. My God, this has got really creative take on Colonia Oud. So it's intense Oud, uh, rustic Oud, has the smell of Colonia Oud. If you haven't smelled, it uses Cambodian Oud with a bitter facet. And that bitter facet is lightened up by sort of um, Amiris-like uh, citrus fruit. And it has a leathery texture. Here the leather is amped up. Very nice. Very, very nice on, uh, take on Colonia Oud. Rustic wood. This one, unfortunately, the sprayer is gone, so it's leaking from the side. As you can see, uh, I can't spray anything. Yeah, but it's leaking from the side, as you can see. So this one was a bit difficult to get on paper, but I think I've got it right. Now, very strong leather. Yeah, very strong leather, and the leather is like Tuscan leather. You see what I mean? So this is kind of super masculine. And that's the reason I like it, because I really like the leather in this one. 
Plus, it's a take on one of my absolute favorite oud fragrances. This is awesome. Rustic oud. Very stylish, reserved, wealthy. You know, that kind of smell. These are all very expensive smelling. Yeah. And the price range is about £110. I converted from the UAE currency, I can't remember what it was, to, when I looked at the prices, it's 704 and then I converted it to pounds and it was like 110 to 140 So the price range is, you know, pretty decent. The value for money proposition for these fragrances is pretty high. Next one is Hot Vanilla. This is an interesting one because this has got a uh, description of woody floral. So this is the one which has got pine pineapple. This is, this is the one that got me interested because I really like the way I don't like Guman vanilla. I like animalic vanilla, dark, deep, rich vanilla, or fruity vanilla. This one is fruity. So mandarin, pineapple, along with jasmine, geranium, whatever. The structure is like a shepra. And then blanc, musk blanc, amber, sandalwood. And there's no mention of vanilla in the notes breakdown. And it's called hot vanilla. <laughs> so. I do smell vanilla. There's, there's definitely vanilla in here with a fruity, the, the pineapple note is pretty authentic and pretty decent. It lasts a very long time. So if you're an Aventus lover and you want to smell pineapple in a different incarnation, you try this. This is a really good one. Hot vanilla. Really good. Fruity vanilla. And the last one is basically a duplicate because they've sent me the big box of that one. So that will give me a chance to show you what their select line actually looks like. This is called powdery. I was sitting here scratching my head. They've made one of the finest fragrances that I've smelt. And the name is just powdery. I mean, I've smelt fragrances which smell nothing like what they're called. They're the grandiose names, you know. Uh, let's take the example. My favorite punching boy at the moment is Lair du Desert Moroccan. You know, it smells like the revenge of a very strong Indian curry next morning. And it's called Lair du Desert Moroccan, right? And this fragrance smells like absolute paradise. And it's called powdery. It's an absolute gem of a fragrance. Look at the packaging for start, yeah? Look at that. Just beautiful. This is called the select line, right? This is what you get for your money. 100 ml, roughly 110 pounds. Look at the presentation, right? For starters, that cap is absolutely heavy. It's like a weapon, right? And this fragrance, my God, this fragrance is amazing. So what are the notes? This, oh, I forgot the notes. I for, oh, intense or no? I can't see the notes. Well, I'll tell you what I smell, right? This fragrance is got powdery vanilla and musk. Look at the atomizer. It smell. It just goes like a Chanel or a Dior. Wow, this fragrance. My God, this is amazing. In fact, let me let me go. Oh yes. It's oh wow. Wow, this fragrance smells like you're going to a party. Yeah, and you're the best smelling guy in that party. I just love the atomizer, it's just so unique. It's just went woo. And you know, I haven't used much of the juice, look. So this fragrance, I can't remember the notes break down. What does it smell like? It smells like a powdery, musky vanilla. The kind of vanilla Roja Dove uses, it's powdery. You know, vanilla normally is either food-like or animalic and very thick. This is powdery vanilla. And Along with that, there's spices like cardamom. I can't remember the exact notes break down and I forgot to note down. Um, I mean, Khadija sent it to me. I just copied it to a piece of paper and I can't remember. I, I forgot to put the notes break down. But anyways, I'll do a full review very soon. And I tell you, the poshest and the most liveliest fragrance I've smelled this year. This was an instant love, right? Powdery is the name. Guys, you need to work on the name of your fragrances because you're making some amazing fragrances. You can't call them powdery, you know, it just underestimates your own brand. Be creative, come up with something amazing. This needs a, a grandiose name because it's a grandiose fragrance, just amazing, you know. This is the kind of fragrance I'd wear to a party.
or a celebration. Big celebration, I'm wearing something really posh, really expensive, I'll wear powdery. What a fragrance. So, hope you enjoy this video because this was just a showcase. Yeah? This house is stunning. As you can see, their range is huge, right? So they also do oud, oud oils, which I haven't received, but you know, you can go and check it out from their website. They're, they're, they've done some, they've got massive range. And I really would like to see them succeed here in the West because their offerings are amazing. As I said, value for money is stunning. Performance is stunning. As you can see, I can hardly speak. Powdery, I've got four sprays of powdery and now I can't speak. I'll tell you one thing, these fragrances, the uh, select line, it, they work better when you spray on your shirt rather than your skin. I've tested it. They, it was much better when you spray it on your shirt and you, all day and it keeps getting better and better and better. The smell is just lush. This one, Intense Oris, um, Hot Vanilla, they are just amazing. These fragrances are so different and they smell absolutely lush and expensive. So, Hoping you like this video and I'll do a detailed review of some of these fragrances I mentioned. And if you want to get something else reviewed in detail, let me know. All the details are in the description. If you have any questions, obviously you can shoot a comment. And I'm hoping you enjoy this video. Take care. Bye-bye.